Okay, let's watch, watch how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, alright. This is going well wow. so far. <laughs> it doesn't Shut look up. like a boat at all. It just looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look like a boat at all. He's like four <laughs> blocks. When Bob Ross starts painting art, you're like, wow, this doesn't look like a fucking landscape. This, way, this isn't a happy little tree. This is just a white canvas. <laughs> <laughs> he makes like three crisscrosses there. He's like, what? This is yeah. awful. It doesn't even look like anything. This, this like, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even look like anything, dude. What the hell? No. Hey, I feel like this would be a cool little spectating spot. Come come with me, Lamy. I mean, let's go spectate. Let's go spectate. Alright, let's turn the camera on. It's gonna be the greatest time lapse ever. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> imagine the time lapse. Where I'm just stood still. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> just, just nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Just go fucking film me for like I don't know, like a few minutes. I just stood here and then do like an epic music over. It. <laughs> That'd be pretty um, good, actually. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I want you to do that. I don't know where you are. All right. I'm gonna, above. I'm gonna like stand. I'm just gonna stand still. <laughs> And and watch. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Just don't watch me do nothing. <laughs> in the fucking time. Whammy, it's Whammy, it's your job to sleep. Do you have a bed on you? Give me yours. Okay. I died earlier. There you go. Take the take the bed. And now it's your job to sleep. I'm gonna stand here. Are you going to actually record this garbage? I am. I am. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave me just standing here, still in the video. Like, <laughs> it's just. It's just <laughs> us standing there. But... This is. This is. Yeah. Everyone watching right now, skip maybe like ten minutes into the future because I'm just gonna be stood here. <laughs> Holy shit! Ryan uploaded a three-hour-long video. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy's video is a god. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Staring Down at Ryan from Atop His Fortress podcast. <laughs> I'm here to uh, Dave and my host, Box Flare. <laughs> Greetings. And as always, we're staring down at Ryan, doing nothing. <laughs> Where even are you? Oh, oh, oh I see you. Hi. I've even, I, I, guys, I've even got like F1 turned on, so I have like my HUD, my, my GUI gone. Yeah. So it's just, it's fully professional too. Oh my god, no, if I'm just stood here whilst the sun goes down, when you speed the footage up, it's gonna look fucking amazing. Alright, I'll just stand still. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna sit here. You know, here's the thing as well, though, right? Like, we're talking about it. I feel like this needs to be included, so it's just not even a time lapse yeah. at this point. It's just us <laughs> standing and talking still <laughs> for like 20 minutes straight. It's not even a time lapse. It's just, it's like us doing a time lapse, but never actually doing the time lapse. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're gonna transition to the time lapse. Never does it. Uh, hey YouTube viewers, go into the settings of the video and click two times. This is good. Yeah, yeah, your there's podcast. your time lapse. Oh my god, if you want a time lapse video, just put the fucking two time speed on like anything. True. That's genius. Genius. Right? Also, no, I, I need to do a time lapse again. Also, I've just seen ten back to beta members are currently online. Whammy, oh. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> You've ruined the time lapse. You've ruined it. <laughs> he punched. Me. He, he, ruined the time he punched me off. <laughs> you know what? The, the, the cameraman getting punched off in the time lapse. <laughs> that sounds alright. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined the time lapse. I, the, you know, if there is a time lapse, all all the only movement that's gonna be there is all the animals just zooming around. They're yeah. doing more than you are. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minute time lapse he places one block every 30 minutes <laughs> Look at them. So oh the sun's setting oh what a time lapse dude so good oh beautiful hell yeah oh it's, so look how fast it's going yeah i uh, can't even see the fucking sun <laughs> looking at oh, the ground wow. So good. This is this is fuck. I've been recording for forty minutes. This was this is gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this... <laughs> I'm leaving all this in. By the way, I'm not oh, yeah. any of this shit. <laughs> this is this is staying in. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, the chicken's back. It's suffocating oh, a block. It, what? It... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's daytime. Oh wow. Wow. Would you look at that? Oh, wow. The time lapse sped up super quick there. Yeah. Look how fast the night went. It was so yeah. quick. All right. Keep building. <laughs> 
right. <laughs> uh, okay, right, let's check it. Okay, there's the fucking pitch. Perfect, all right, time ups again. Is this shit done yet or what? <laughs> uh, it actually is. I'm like seconds away from finishing. Oh hell yeah! That was perfect yeah. timing. When I got my when I got my been sitting here this entire time. Yeah, watching. I think so. I went and got my sandwich. I actually had two. I had bacon, cheese, mm. sriracha, mayo. Oh, it was so good. Avocado. Mm, it was so good. I, f I, th I think it's actually done. You think it's done? Am I free to actually move? I th I think. All right, I'm doing it. Yeah, oh. it's, it's done. Oh my Finally. god. Finally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just keep time lapsing everything you do from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you get all flashy? Oh, this at this the looks end? great. <laughs> Thank you. I actually fucked up a few times, but I don't think you can notice. Oh Same shit, actually, there's a block. There's a mistake there. Yeah. Ryan, this door does not make any sense. Hey, this looks awesome. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, just, it's supposed to be like stuck open. It's. it's hey, this is it. this is great. This looks so cool. Wait, I, I need to actually Thank have you. a look at the boat, like, in its entirety. This yeah, is cool. Yeah. How does it look underneath? Do you say the floor doesn't make sense? Is that what you said? No, the door. The door. Close the door. Close Watch. the door. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally just put two blocks here and it would work. Like, <laughs> yeah, what well, let's take some space. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's got more room. <laughs> yeah. Zero privacy. You know, fine, fine. Hey, this door. This go, door's see? pretty epic. I like this one. Yeah, that one sounds good. I like that door too. <laughs> and now it's like. Is this supposed to be a war vessel? Ah. There, yeah, now it's normal. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. This shit just looks like a. <laughs> A yacht or something. I, I like, said that when I like I said that I was like this wasn't built to be this. I built this like ages ago and I thought fuck it, it'll get good there. I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean I guess it's It like, could just be like the uh, military leaders like flexing ship, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I think it looks good. I think it looks great. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well thanks, yeah. Ryan. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the episode here from the Back to Beta server. And as you guys have seen, obviously, we've done quite a bit of work in this space throughout this week. Me and uh, actually Ryan has been helping a lot in this area. Um, and yeah, this week I didn't really do any kind of recording and building, recording and building. I mostly just built and I kind of thought I would, uh, yeah, end of this week kind of just show it all off, everything I've kind of done, um, yeah, throughout the week, kind of as like a show and tell kind of thing. Now, at the end of last episode, I showed off this build that was built by the boy Ryan, um, which was really cool, and on stream, uh, earlier in the week, I think Wednesday maybe, I don't know, earlier in the week, we uh, got on stream and we actually detailed um, the, bo the sort of bottom underside of the build um, to kind of take it off the ground. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. We did some detailing to basically take it off the ground um, because at the moment, well, well, originally it was kind of just sandstone and it looked like it kind of blended in with the uh, with the hill. So I added a little bit of detailing sort of around the bottom section so it kind of pulls it off, uh, it pulls the building off the uh, off the ground. We also added this flag, which was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, also this detailing with the sand and stuff in the walls um, so that it wasn't so like, it didn't have such a pattern. There's no interior yet, but I think, you know, we'll get to that over time um, as we spend more time doing it. Uh, now, I don't know if I've shown this off yet, but Ryan also built this uh, this military outpost here, which is meant to be like a, a dock 
for like the military ships and things. It looks good from a distance. He also has been building that one and built this one, which we detailed a bit, um, a bit later as well. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool one. I came through and added all the details. He basically built the shape, um, and then I came through and added a whole bunch of details, like the, uh, like the walls and the, uh, and the sand and the mossy cobblestone and that and uh, yeah this build looks really cool it's got like multiple layers it's got little cubby holes again doesn't really have an interior um, but looks really cool and I think we'll walk a bit further away so you can actually see this build um, in its entirety as well uh, now as you guys saw in the time-lapse this is the most recent recent edition um, and this is a ship that is kind of like meant to be a military ship um, something cool to note as well which you'll see like from a distance um, there's like the flag there then a smaller version and then an even smaller version up here which I quite like uh, but Ryan built this and we kind of watched him do it me and whammy um, he sent me through the plans of this boat and it looks really cool because I sort of want a few different kind of boats in here I think hello world said he might want to build one there um, I may have to move because I think there's some sight lines that I don't want to compromise but yeah we're gonna add like some trade boats and and things like that but this is like meant to be a bit of a military boat it doesn't really have any like cannons or anything like that but I don't know it could just be like a, a diplomatic kind of military boat I guess that Ryan's built um, which is really cool it's got a bit of a bit of an interior down here sort of a storage around the back um, I guess there's meant to be like a kitchen and then uh, sort of the living quarters in here uh, that's a bit of an immersion breaker, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, this ship is really cool and, you know, really fills this space well. And from a distance, this whole area is starting to look really cool. I mean, you guys saw at the very start of this little clip here that, um, it's starting to look very cool. So yeah, these builds are looking very nice now. I'm glad that I spent the, uh, the time to, uh, to detail up these ones it took quite a while and uh yeah very thankful for ryan for putting this one in here uh now the next editions i've actually spent um quite a bit of time adding a couple of additions to the market area so some new stalls and things which surprisingly took me a while i'm not very not very good at, at, at building them but um i don't know I'm, I'm getting a bit more of a rhythm into it so i don't know it's pretty good. So the first one I built was this cactus storage. So if you guys remember, um, this village and like this area, um, it basically imports everything like wood and fish and wheat and steel and things like that. It basically imports everything, but its biggest exports are obviously cactus, sand and glass. Um, and these stalls are sort of at the front here, which you can kind of buy things from, but it's also a place for, um, like kind of shipping and, and, and storage, um, sort of ready to be put on a boat and sent away kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we have these like shipping containers, which I already built one over here, but I thought I'd add a few more, um, you know, they're meant to have like be full of cactus and things. And this is the cactus storage one, which I quite like. There's another storage part here. We've got these uh, glitch pistons here, which I think were pretty interesting little countertops here. Um, and we've got, um, yeah, sort of the cactus sort of displayed, I guess, a furnace um, and a chest full of cactus. And a lot of the chests around here are just full of cactus because it's their biggest export, so they kind of have a lot of it. Alright, but moving on from that cactus shop, just up here is a premium Satsuma shop, and this one is a little bit of an inside joke, if you get it, um, that's very cool, but I'm guessing most of you don't, don't get it, but yeah, this is a, a little Satsuma shop, if you don't know what a Satsuma is, it's basically like a mandarin, um, so we've got a bunch of them in here, and this is meant to be like a, a barrel full of them, which is, uh, which is cool, and it's like indicated by the by the wool color, that's kind of what I've kind of stuck to with the theme, obviously like, you know, there's the dark green here. And yeah, just around the corner from the Satsuma shop, we've also got a cactus, an actual cactus shop. So, um, obviously this is the cactus storage area, so you can probably buy cactus here, but it's mainly for, um, sort of the main exporting of cactus. So they package it and, and put it on ships and stuff. But this is where you would actually buy cactus in the village. And obviously it's quite up market because it's the biggest exporter. So it's like quite a nice, quite a nice place. And you kind of come in here and uh, yeah, there, there would be cactus in here and a person selling it. Um, and yeah, I quite like this one. It's a cool kind of cactus shop and it fills this space nicely. There's also a milk and water shop. This is just like kind of to fill the space. There's no milk. I don't, I don't know why there would be a milk shop in a place like this, but I don't know. I just want to want to I was looking through like the Minecraft items and I was like, what I, I kind of want to sell everything. So there's like signs everywhere that kind of indicate um, different different uh, I don't know different items that you could sell, I guess. 
Now, if we walk a little further down the village here, these were the last two um, shops that I've worked on, and these are, like, connected, and, yeah, just like I said, same with the, uh, the cactus. These are shops, but they're also, um, storage areas to, like, export, um, export the, um, I don't know, the goods. So, this is a sand shop here, and it's obviously got the sand kind of, like, packaged up so it doesn't spill everywhere, but obviously there's little bits that have kind of spilled out, um, spilled out here. There's sort of sand in the chests that you can buy. Um, and it's connected to the glass shop because obviously, you know, you smelt sand to get to get glass and uh, Yeah, there's a little again storage kind of containers here um, I think whammy did this <laughs> added a little block <laughs> uh, Which I like it's kind of funny that it's just like on its own and hidden away um, So I'm gonna keep that there. It's pretty funny but uh, yeah, we've basically added kind of four, or I guess five, sort of new little shops and stalls. And I think they are in good places as well to kind of make the fe uh, make this place feel a little more immersive, fill the spaces a bit, um, especially when it comes to these ones here. I think they, they're really good. I don't know if I've shown this dock off either, actually. I just realized um, in a video, this is a dock I built a while back. This is probably the first edition I made, well, first new edition I made. Um, and yeah, it's meant to be kind of like a little bit broken down, as you can see here. Um, but it's like, you know, still in repairs. Like this, um, this military outpost here, you can see it's like all very nice and fancy. It's all nice and, and well maintained. But this is like the, you know, the poor people's dock. Um, I guess, <laughs> uh, and the trade dock, so it's a bit bit more run down and kind of, you know, used, overused kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you get kind of some good views from the, from the dock, um, from the dock here, which is cool. Um, get to see this kind of back section of the, uh, of these main builds here. Now the last thing we kind of worked on was this here. So this building was originally just, uh, the sandstone portion. There was no wood texturing or, um, this thing on top. Um, similar to these ones over here, and these two were built by Ryan, uh, and then, yeah, later later on we sort of came through and added some, uh, some wood texturing just to kind of make it a bit more interesting. I will texture it, um, like the bottom of it similar to this where there's like the leaves and the, uh, the soul sand wood and dirt. I will do that to this build and this build eventually, but, um, just haven't got around to it. And this sort of turned into a bell tower, which is cool. Um, I like to think it, it was originally like a military tower, kind of like this one and this one, but then I guess maybe it was sold off or they sort of converted it just into like a regular bell tower, which, yeah, I kind of like. It's kind of a, a cool little addition. I can't get out. This is a scam. Um, but yeah, I think it looks cool from a distance. Um, a nice, another nice little addition here. To sort of fill the fill the spaces and uh, yeah I think this this city is kind of starting to to really fill up especially when you look at it from like here like this is a great a great view right here everything kind of feels very densely compact there is a little uh, like a couple little spots here that need need filling up but um, for the most part things are starting to sign to progress and I wanted to kind of take a step back so you can really see these builds in their uh, I guess in their best form like this one here is really cool basically a, yeah, a fortress, which is cool, and with all the detailing, there's, you'll notice that on both of these builds, um, there's some, like, sort of wooden support beams, um, there's quite a lot of them around, you can see there, um, and, and there, and the kind of idea with that is, I guess, you know, it's not made out of the best materials, maybe, but it's also, I don't know, if there's ever been an attack or something, like, it's basically constantly under repairs, I guess, if there were any kind of attacks, um, you know, any, anybody trying to come in would probably attack the, uh, attack the military outpost first to try and, um, try and get in, but yeah, that's kind of the idea. So some pretty cool additions this week. I think this place is really starting to come along, um, in a way that I'm very proud of. It's already much better than I think I, I would have ever expected, so yeah, pretty excited to keep working pretty hard on this project. Uh, but now we're actually going to turn to the murals. Don't think I forgot that we, uh, we have to add a mural to the wall this episode. Um, I have actually collected all the resources for this next mural, and this one was built by Duke Rancid, um, on Discord. He sent, sent this to me on Discord, um, or they, I'm not sure if that it's a he, but, you know, they sent it to me on Discord, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to add this one. It's pretty funny. I think it's a really cool sort of recreation of, of my face and my, and my skin. So yeah, pretty excited to do this one. I think it'll look pretty funny. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
Just finished the mural. I'm just about to turn back and have a look at it. Let's see it. Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> that looks so good! I love this. Hang on, I need to get a, uh, a higher vantage point. This is so good. It's so different from like the other ones. It's so vibrant. I love it. This one's so good. This one was actually probably the hardest one to build so far. I think just all the wool textures kind of just came into one, whereas these ones at least kind of like, I don't know, they had differing things kind of breaking it up. Hell yeah, this one's so good. I love it. Thank you so much, Duke. I really appreciate it. This is so cool. I think it's a fine addition to this, uh, to this mural wall. Hey, look. You see anything, you see some similarities? What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be all for today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Laters! Laters! <laughs>